Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is Ship Updates. Now, right off the bat, we've got some big sort of news. At least we've got a hint of something big that's about to happen. And that has to do with the Gamescom sale, which is the reveal sale. So, what we found out is that along with Gamescom, there's going to be a patch that comes out and the ship that is sold at Gamescom will be flight ready so I know what you're thinking right off the bat I know what you're thinking you're thinking holy shit effing Polaris flight ready holy crap but it doesn't necessarily mean the Polaris because later on in chat someone asked Ben when can we expect the concept sale of the Polaris and he very straight faced answered later this year now he could have been faking it just to throw people off and personally I would lean with that it could very well be the Polaris I I would say I feel at least 60% on the Polaris but there is another possibility that sticks out the re the the reimagined the redone the revisited hornet could possibly be a what they consider a reveal a reveal of the new and fancy hornet and they did say flight ready so i mean a big ship like a corvette i don't know about that and so i i feel that it could be the hornet the revisited Hornet, the new updated version of the Hornet. These are the two ships that really stand out. I mean, on the periphery, of course, there's always like the Xeon Volper and the Xeon cargo ship that we found out about a long time ago, but we have never ever seen except, well, we did see a little screenshot, I think a year, two years ago of the interior, just a, like a very muddied shot of the interior of the Xeon transport but we haven't seen anything since so I mean those two ships could be possible but I would honestly say that I want it to be the Polaris but it could still technically be the Hornet just because they said flight ready and to get a big ship like the Polaris ready for flight I don't know so it could also be the reimagined Hornet the redone the updated Hornet so bear that in mind. I'm not trying to, you know, throw cold water on the hype train and ruin it for everybody, but that is a possibility. And I, I can't discount that just because it's not what I want. It is possible. So, but then again, if the Polaris really is kind of like an updated or like an upsized version of the Constellation, which we have gotten some indication of in the past yeah it is possible that it could indeed be the Polaris who knows but either way that's a big sale coming up between what is it the 17th and the 21st of August so just under two months away now something Definitely, definitely, definitely to look forward to. I mean, August is going to be... I don't think there's enough hours in the day for me to be gaming in August. I mean, with the release of Legion and with possibly this ship being flight ready, whatever it is, Polaris, please. I think that, you know, August is... August and going into September is basically going to be the, uh, the month that I just don't sleep. So anyways, big, huge news there something definitely to get excited about now of course reverse the verse was short this week because they're moving along very very quickly they're trying to get things done for you know of course 241 patch 241 is going to be coming out at some point in the near future and that's going to address some of the issues that we've all been having now I feel a little bit more secure knowing that everybody's been having these issues and not just me but that is coming out and they haven't locked down features for 2.5 yet but with the next piece of news 
I'm going to go out on a limb with the, well, actually with the next two pieces of news, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that 2.5, I'm feeling that the Caterpillar is going to be hanger ready. And I'm going to take a leap and say the Dragonfly is going to be flyable in 2.5. Now that is my opinion. That is conjecture. That is speculation. But that's how I feel that this is going to go down. Because if you saw all these shots that went with the Dragonfly sail, or of the Caterpillar, rather, in the Dragonfly sail, it showed a very detailed and very updated interior of the Caterpillar, and things are looking good. And we did get some updates on ATV in regards to that I mean they're working on engineering right now they're working on the turrets and they're working a little bit on the command module and if you like you see the shots that are up on screen I mean it looks friggin amazing and it looks like they've gotten so much done now of course once again a big ship there's a lot to factor in to make it flyable a lot of things to do a lot of animations a lot of doors all kinds of nonsense so I can't really see it being flight ready I, if it was I <laughs> I would you know I would be uh, I'd be pretty damned excited about that but I I feel that as a static thing in our hangar with just animated doors and uh, seats that you can hop into I feel that the caterpillar is gonna be in 2.5 I really really do now next up the dragonfly now, of course, the Dragonfly went straight into production. And then in ATV this week, right at the end, if you saw it, you saw the video. I've got a couple of screenshots here of the Dragonfly in flight. And it wasn't just like a static thing just kind of cruising through space. The control jets are all firing on it. And it's, you know, it's changing directions. Like someone's actually flying it. It's not just a static model basically being dragged on a on a digital string through space like this is like really moving and reacting to the environment you know the little legs aren't really animating around or anything like that but it, it, it and there's no textures on it so it's a very rough first pass but it is a very small ship so who knows I suppose it, it could very well be possible that we might actually have a flyable dragonfly in 2.5 now that's a that's a stretch that's a long shot but I'd like to think it's gonna happen <laughs> and so what else do we have there's really not that much apart from we found out a little bit about the Orion once again reiterating the fact that the Orion will come out with the mining mechanics so if we ever get, say, another update, like when, when Chris did 10 for the at the beginning of the week and he started talking about how procedural planets and a, a larger crusader is going to be in 2.7 or is slated to be in 2.7. So that's definitely something to look forward to. But we found out that the Orion will be coming out the same time the mining mechanic is coming out. So if you ever hear them start talking about while well, mining in 2.8 or mining in 2.9, the Orion is, they're gearing to basically land those two features together. So if you hear about one, then you know about the other. So that is definitely something to look forward to. But once again, it was a very short episode. Um, only half an hour to, uh, this week, and there weren't a lot of updates because clearly a lot of people are really busy trying to get things uh, nailed down. So, apart from, yeah, I mean, procedural planets in 2.7, there's going to be a separate station for pirates to spawn from, which was like in last week's piracy show, the unaired episode that I, I didn't do and I took down because I didn't, I, I wanted to go back and redo it. I did have a little bit of a rant there talking about, well, you shouldn't have pirates and non-pirates spawning in the same place because to have people getting ganked as soon as they get in the universe when they want to try out their ships is, isn't really fair like we should be forced to ambush them out there in space it's it was it was a little too easy i mean even like i got to admit that it was too easy and so it was really nice to see like that before i could even really get on a tear about that 
that they were already talking about it, already addressing it, and already looking forward to already already looking forward to making those changes. And that was just awesome. So that is pretty much it, except for for subscribers. They're going to be introducing a feature, I believe it's next month it starts, where there's going to be a rotating ship that you get to try out for a month. So if you're a subscriber, you're, there's going to be like every month there's going to be a ship. And then you'll have that ship in your hangar for a month. Now we don't know what limitations there are, how big or how small those ships can get. But we do know that the first ship is going to be the Sabre. And you'll have that ship for an entire month to fly and play around with. And then after that, it looks like in the subscriber forum, there's going to be a poll and you'll be able to vote on what ship you get the next month. So I don't know if they're going to make like a hard and fast rule, no repeats, no, no nonsense like that. But that is the way that it's looking like it's going to go down. So definitely a lot of really cool news, a lot of stuff to look forward to. In the immediate, immediate future, maybe not so much. Mostly bug fixes and little things here and there. But looking forward to Gamescon and then looking forward into the future to 2.7. I mean, realistically, we're at 2.4 now. So we got 2.5, hopefully, in the very near future. But who knows? But either way, in the end, Chris Roberts did say 2.7 this year. Procedural planets now. I know. I know. But he did say it, so it's possible. Anyways, that's the show for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I believe Monday on the Piracy Show, barring any changes or any big news, I'm going to be probably delving into capital ships again. I've just kind of been rolling around capital ships in my mind and thinking about things, uh, looking into the future, so I'll probably be mumbling about that for a while. If you're interested, that'll be up Monday. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and thanks for watching. Quantum Travel Initiated.